flavor you really like a lot. Then create your own frozen dot. Hey, it's Lucas. Welcome back to the Chan Chan. I bought the disc. <laughs> <laughs> I went online and balled out. I bought the discontinued Dippin' Dots ice cream maker. I wasn't gonna make a video about this because I didn't want to brag, but I figured I might as well share everything with the Chan Chan viewers. You guys deserve to know about my luxurious life. This product and this chip box, it's not available to the public. So it turns out I might be exaggerating when I say this product is discontinued, but if you go to Target, it's not in stores. You have to get it shipped, so that's pretty much discontinued. And also on Amazon, it takes a month to get to you. So like it's discontinued. I bought it on eBay for $30. So yeah, it's discontinued. And I know you guys are all dying to know, is this product Lucas approved? Stay tuned till the end to find out. Don't forget to subscribe. Okay. All right. Mother fuck. Up, I didn't get scammed. This is it. Wait, can they put like a lizard in here or something? The eBay seller? I'm excited to try this because Dippin' Dots, as we all know, is the future of ice cream. Dippin' Dots, the ice cream of the future. It's the ice cream of the future. And it has been since like the 1970s, but I still believe in them. I still think they're gonna be the ice cream of the future. All right, look at this go. Wait, there's no mix in here though? Wait, there's no ice cream mix. Oh, oh, never mind. It doesn't come with little packets, so don't worry guys. They actually have some Dippin' Dots recipes, just, you know, some milk and mango juice to make a mango smoothie. There's a watermelon cream one. So, so I think we have to go to the grocery store and get some ingredients. Come on, I'll bring you guys with. What are you waiting for? Come on, let's hit the road. Got the goods, let's go. <laughs> Support your local Walmart. Why isn't the sticker on fully? Dippin' Dots, oh, what? Do better Dippin' Dots? No wonder why this got discontinued. I don't think you're focusing on the right thing. I think you need to focus on how to probably move in someone's basement. It's fine. The first step in the directions is to clean everything. I just don't know if we have time, is <laughs> the sad thing. Here's little syringes. These are the trays. We actually get three trays of three different Dippin' Dots we can make. So we're gonna be doing three different recipes today. I'm excited to try out different formulations for you guys. See what the best secret sauce is. Do we need to clean this? Oh, it smells like school supplies. Does that bring back a memory? <laughs> Fully does. It brings back the memory of opening up a pencil box in second grade, right before getting brutally bullied in the hallway and having to go to therapy because of it. Anyway, <laughs> just kidding, that didn't even happen to me, so I don't want to claim that. Oh my God! We get our own spoons and Dippin' Dots cups. We are living today, honey. Basically, all you need to do is fill these trays. Like all of these parts are unnecessary, this tube and this whole thing. Like you really could just use this and make Dippin' Dots, but I like how they try to make it more of an experience. So hats off to that. What? What do we have to do? Our base for all the Dippin' Dots is gonna be whole milk straight from the cow's breast. Okay, so it does recommend making a mango smoothie Dippin' Dots tray. So we're gonna mix some milk and Tropicana orange juice for a little tropical Dippin' Dots moment for our first batch. It says no pulp. I was gonna say I made sure to get one with pulp because people who don't like pulp I can't stand them. This honestly is the simplest thing ever. You literally just mix two ingredients together. Oh, what? Wouldn't you actually <laughs> love this machine? You use it every day. It'd be hilarious. <laughs> I might actually use this every day. Okay. All right. Speaking of Dippin' Dots, it is funny how like just ice cream in a different shape is so much more satisfying. Like we all have to admit, it might just be the aesthetic, the marketing, but there's something about eating Dippin' Dots that it just, it's a better experience than regular ice cream. Okay. Wait, what? Oh my God. Are you ready? Oh, look at that. That is beautiful. Oh, uh, yes. Yes, daddy, I do. Give me brain like I'm in NYU. Oh, a little bit of overflow. Alrighty, first cartridge down. Next up, I found some cinnamon toast crunch milk. Um, I've never had cinnamon toast crunch Dippin' Dots, but let me guess, once this video comes out, Dippin' Dots is gonna all of a sudden say, we came up with an idea, cinnamon toast crunch Dippin' Dots. Would you sue? <laughs> 
It feels like you're doing a science experiment. I know, it does. Mm -mm. Oh, that is so good. Bread it around. Doesn't it kind of remind you of a pimple popping video? Set this one aside as well. This is honestly pretty fun. Like, I'm enjoying the whole process. I might actually start an Etsy shop and ship out my own Dippin' Dots. Oh, wait. <laughs> Something in me was saying I needed to make a spicy Dippin' Dot. First of all, I thought hot Cheetos. Then I thought, how am I gonna grind them up in a perfect amount to fit in all the little dots? Chicken broth, sriracha, Dippin' Dots. No one's tried it yet. And I know it sounds disgusting, but I honestly have a feeling it might be kind of good. Spicy ice cream, like, I feel like it's an untapped market. Add some sriracha. You want it to be really spicy. I also included chicken broth in the recipe because as we all know, it helps your skin. Kylie Jenner told us that, so. The first thing I eat or drink when I wake up is probably my bone broth. I do sip on bone broth all day. Always keep that in mind. She's an actual skincare expert, so do what she says. You don't know better, Jennifer. She knows more than you. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Yeah, I actually watched the full video and she doesn't ever mention that bone broth is a skincare thing. Um, she just drinks it for fun. So sorry for spreading misinformation and I apologize. Get these spicy Dippin' Dots going. Oh crap, is it too thick? Up. Oh. Overflowed just a little. Now we just pop these bad boys into the freezer for I think it said two to three hours. And we're gonna be munching. We are gonna be munching good. So stay tuned. All right. Three hours later. Hey, it's been about three hours. We've got our dipping Dots. Mmm, 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 yes. I am ready to be wowed. I am ready to be blown away. This better be worth $30 or I'm gonna sue. Is this even frozen all the way? If I have to wait longer, I might just like ruin my entire house. Oh no, these are good. Oh shit. Okay. It says wait two to three hours. I waited three hours. I was on, I gave it extra time, but maybe my freezer just sucks. Wait, you guys. Girl, what? This is just... It doesn't even taste good. This is the orange juice one. And like, I wouldn't even care if it tasted bad, if it actually was in dip and dot form, but whatever. Let's put these in the gosh damn freezer again. I'm pissed. God, we're done. Cut the cameras. Four more hours later. It's been about four more hours. If this doesn't work this time, <laughs> I'm gonna have to beat someone's ass, but I'm gonna have to find somebody in like a 10 mile radius and just like, just kidding, physical violence is the unfunny to joke about. Anyway, um, let's see if these work. <laughs> Please, I wanna finish my day with some Dippin' Dots. I'm excited, you guys, I think this actually worked. Dippin' Dots, I had faith in you. But this is good, I don't have to beat anyone up then. Oh, are you kidding me? Oh. I don't know if it's because I had tacos for dinner, but like the first thing I smelled was just a whiff of like taco meat. But it tastes good. It's like, um, it tastes like, um, yeah, Cinnamon Toast Crunch, guys. Those are the Cinnamon Toast Crunch ones. I really got a good batch out of this one. Wait, I need to show this up close. This is cool. This is beautiful. They really turned out good. It actually doesn't look like Dippin' Dots though. Cause you know what? Dippin' Dots aren't this big in real life, right? I mean, it tastes nothing like Dippin' Dots, but I did kind of make up this one my own. It's just milk, the Cinnamon Toast Crunch. It kind of just tastes like ice. Do you want a bite? This ice. I know, an ice with a little bit of Cinnamon Toast Crunch, but... Ew, why does this taste kind of like Indian food? Just randomly. We're gonna end with the most disgusting one of all, the spicy hot chicken wing, chicken broth sriracha one. And it's perfectly formed. Yeah, I take back what I said before. I'm, I'm not gonna start an Etsy shop selling these. It isn't my passion. And um, I'm glad I tried it because now I know it's not my passion, you know? They always say it's just as important to find out what you don't wanna do. I don't wanna make a Dippin' Dots Etsy shop. <laughs> I don't think anyone would buy it after they see your gross hands pulling it out of there. Here's a little bowl. Give this one a little taste. Why did I make this one? Okay, maybe it'll be good. You never know. <laughs> I mean, I'm kind of liking it more than the other one because it has so much flavor. This one, like, you fully get an experience. Like, it is, yeah, just... I don't even know how to describe it. It just tastes like, yeah, like hot sauce and ice cream. That's what it's supposed to be, but... Ugh. It's not the best. You have to try some. I know it's disgusting, but please, like, we need someone else's point of view.
Anyway, he's, he's struggling. I mean, it's not bad. It's kind of good though, like in a weird way. If you like do some mental gymnastics, you can convince yourself it's good, right? Yeah, I feel like some people would like it. That's good, I guess. Well, this is the aftermath. Um, Yeah, just buy Dippin' Dots at the gas station. A lot of gas stations have a little canister of them. I guess it was fun. Don't forget to subscribe, smash the li like button, and um, catch you on the flip side. Bye, fans.